Hello, the one and only Xalophony here with another Ark Survival Evolved dossier of the Pegomastics. Now, this guy is interesting looking. He's got a beak, but it's like a half beak. But mainly that's to get berries. Now, this is one of the much smaller creatures on the island. It's going to be an herbivore, but oddly enough, it's going to be defensive. So if you get into a fight with this guy, he's going to bite back. Now, I don't think you'll have much trouble with him, but he is going to be, uh, you know, he's going to have a little bite to him. So, I don't know, it'll be probably a little bit funny to see this guy. But overall, I think he's going to be a pretty good addition to the island, especially for early game. Just because, well, there's a lot of big scary things on the island. So this would be a good thing to, uh, you know, have in contrast to that. Anyway, in the wild, among the bottom of the island's dinosaur food chain, is a small herbivore called the Pegomastix Fructerator. It's content to spend all day alone, gorging itself with more food than you might reasonably expect from a creature of its tiny stature. Its beak appears to be perfectly evolved for collecting food from plants while avoiding the indigestible fibrous strands. Okay, well, this guy's gonna be alone at most of the time. I like how the picture right next to him is just a dinosaur eating him. It just shows that this guy's gonna be right at the bottom of the food chain. Not much is going to be, uh, had with this guy in terms of survival, but he eats plenty of food. Yeah, I'm sure he lives a happy lifestyle until he fights himself to death. So it's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe a couple of you can relate to this. I don't know. But anyway, Pegomastix is likely to ignore any nearby creature and continue foraging unless it's attacked, at which point it turns into a very aggressive, though rather unthreatening, opponent, shrieking and whooping far above its actual threat level. You would expect a creature this small and weak to live in flocks, but Pegomastix seems to be fairly solitary in nature. Okay, so these guys are going to mostly be alone. They're not going to be in herds, they're not going to be in flocks, but they're just going to walk around eating as many berries as possible. Now, I'm wondering if even when the larger predator is attacking, they're just going to fight back. Like, I would assume a raptor attacks it. It should probably run, but... Who knows, maybe with this guy, they'll just be fighting back. And I assume if a T-Rex or something attacks him, they'll just, well, die instantly. <laughs> Probably a one or two shot, so not really much wonder to do about that. But I'd love to see a fight with these guys against a, a Dimorphodon or a Dilophosaurus. That might end up being a good fight, obviously. All small creatures, not a lot are amazing at fighting, um, but all are willing to fight. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, when domesticated, while not pretty, and far too small to ride, tribes often keep Pegomastix around as a kind of farming aid. Its skill at scavenging means that it collects an extraordinary quantity of seeds and berries, while also handling gathering the rare flowers, mushrooms, and other ingredients necessary to cook up unusual concoctions. Ooh, okay, so this guy's gonna be your berry gatherer. Keeping a few guys around here, gathering berries will make that a little bit easier for you. Now, obviously, there's plenty of other ways to add berries or gather berries in the game. You can just take a stegosaurus or many larger herbivores out and just swing your tail, and they will do that. But this will definitely be another option to gather berries easily early game. And that will give you a food supply so you can focus on other things when you're starting out on the Ark. Now, I think this guy is definitely intended as, you know, something that probably won't be used a lot later on in the game. But hey, I'll tame one just to have him walking around so yeah. See how many berries he gets. I think what really comes down to is getting those rare flowers and rare and uh, mushrooms. All that kind of stuff will be very uh, useful. Anyway, let me know what you think of this guy in the comments below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.